Like Alice in Wonderland, I did not know where to begin on this journey of inquiry with you. So like her, I began at the beginning and went until I was through, and I stopped. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was life. I and other I were born. They struggle daily for life. It is I who must have room to breathe. It is I who must live. As I search my mind, my feelings, my environment, it is obvious that what is most significant, meaningful, and necessary to me is my personal integration. Integrity, oneness, wholeness, unsplitness, congruence, the survival of myself. I survive or I die in relationship with you. What I feel is meaningful in my life must be examined within the context of the culture in which I live. I am a product of a society which values psychological safety more than life itself. I live in a society where people trade health and wealth and families and physical comfort for psychological safety. What is the self? You and I have a self. I and other I are parts of myself. You have a relationship with yourself and with others. I have a relationship with myself and with others. The self-concept is a group of psychological processes which govern behavior and adjustment, a person's attitudes and feelings about himself, what you think of you, the configuration one has about himself which is open to his awareness. A poor self-concept has been repeatedly shown to be at the base of emotional maladjustment. The emotionally maladjusted person is in difficulty because communication within himself has broken down. He loses, then, his psychological safety, his personal integration. He begins to distort things both to himself and to me. When this personal integration is threatened, people take their own lives and the lives of others, or they just die a slow death.